Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the LDM Show. I'm your host, host and I'm glad you got here for another episode. We're going to be having a lot of fun today. I have a legend going to be here today, and we're going to be talking about, we're going to probably go way back to the 80s and 70s. We don't know what we're going to talk about right here. I have a lot of questions that I want to ask. If you have your questions ready, you better be ready. And then we're going to have a live performance as well from the lady that blew everybody up from the uh, Nothing But Women Power when she put down the music and just went with her voice. She's going to be here. Catherine Rose is here today. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere and hang out with us. This is the LDM Show. We'll be here. He's got my heart beating out of in a gunshot. Smokes out the barrel and the hand pieces burning hot. He's got me. He's good. Yeah. Oh, well, we got caught, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm over here fixing uh, beast. Mr. Stinger here, here, his name, Rod, here. First of all, thank you for coming. You're welcome. I know you guys are a little busy, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're popping up over here. <laughs> uh, last week, he was supposed to be on our last week's show, but uh, due to um, engineering problems, we had a film uh, pre-recorded show, so he couldn't be here last week, but he's here this week. That's what matters. Yep. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, and again, shout out to MJ Hip Hop Connect. Uh, they sending us all these great hip hop artists today. Are, are we good with sound over there? Okay, just want to make sure. So, so far, tell the people. Well, especially, he is part of the hip hop movement. You know what I'm saying? So, this is legendary. I'm talking about back when I was young and. We can talk about it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But uh, tell a little bit about yourself first before we even move up. All right. You know, um, you know, as a lot of people know, you know, I'm from the first generation of hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and and don't that make you seem a little old yeah, when you say yeah. it like that? You're like the first generation. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, I won't say the first. You know what I'm saying? Cause I <laughs> yeah, you know, and um, you know, a, 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 you know, a former member of of the first family from from hip hop. You know, that's the Zulu Nation. Yep. You know, and um, you know, like how Beast Stinger came about. Everybody always asked me how that came about and how mm. my name came about and everything like that. Um, um, it was a girl um that lived in my building, and we were like, um, I was cool with her family and stuff, right? You know, and then she ended up um dating uh DJ Jazzy J, mm. you know, the Zulu Nations the DJ. Zulu. You know what I'm saying? And um, so. When she started dating Jazzy, you know what I'm saying, I used to be up there every day. So little did Jazzy know, you know, once you started dating her, you inherit me. <laughs> 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 so, you know, I used to pile around with Jazzy everywhere, you know, and um, he, he became my big brother. Ah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I ended up becoming um, a, a, a crazy boy for Jazzy, you know, and for those right. who don't. You know, for the younger generation who don't know what crate boys are, you know, mm -hmm. we were the ones that used to carry the crate. carry the record. I was, I was, you know I was my brother's. I was yeah, my brother's you know, uh, crate boy. Yeah, man. And then you know, when the DJ is DJing, you mm -hmm. know, and they be like, "Yo, you know, um, give me such and such record." You know, what yeah. I'm saying? You gotta go. And you gotta the go funny through. part about it, I used to hate it because like the day that I'm not doing it, and then I come back the next day, they move my records out of place. <laughs> I had it in a certain order. You know what I'm saying? Let, like, let, let, let me say, I, let me say, you know. I was a crate boy, and everybody knew Beast Stinger, right? But I was the worst crate boy ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't find out one here. Take this yeah. one. <laughs> you know, yeah, Jazzy used to ask me, yo, get such and such record, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking, I don't know what that record is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he had to go and get his, he had to go get his own, his own records out of the crate. So <laughs> it, 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 it ended up, the only thing that I would do is just, here, hand me the records, and I'll put the record back in the crate. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hold the crate up here. Just take your own records. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, and you know, it, 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 it was it, it was a great thing, you know, being on um, stage back then, you know, with groups like the Cold Crush. Ooh, the Cold Crush crew. You, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, the, the the Funky Four, um, um, the Fantastic Five. You, you know, and um, it, it was just like 
it, it, it was an honor, you know what I'm saying? And and especially, a lot of people don't know the story of the Fantastic Five. They, they, they like, underrated, basically. Definitely. They're very underrated. Uh, they had um, DJs. They had, of course, the Crate Boys. They even had uh, dancers, you know, to, to be in the front with them, you know. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they put him when they came out to block parties, they really made good block parties. Mm -hmm. When you got, I know we sound old, but for you guys, a block party was people gathering in the streets, having fun, and no problems. We can't do that now because you can't even go to the club with no problem. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, and, you know, that's what I be trying to explain to, like, these up, up, upcoming rappers. You know what I'm saying? There is a difference. You know, you have hip-hop and then you have rap. A lot right, of these right. rappers, what they're doing these days, they're rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And... And and talking about selling drugs and 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 and, and bang bang shoot them up. That's not hip hop. Wow! Didn't I just was you talking about this uh, two weeks ago with one of the uh, MJ crews? Yeah, you know what I'm saying <laughs> that what they doing. That's not hip hop. And cut that out. Saying that's hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And rapping is when you you know just making up a story. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I went across the stroke. I went across the street and I did this, this, and that. And a lot of these rappers today, but they're rapping about, you know, saying that this and this. this. They're not. Right. You, you, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? And then they have to end up carrying out and living up to that image that they put, that fantasy image that they portrayed in their records. Like, you see what happened to 6 9 Oh, you, you you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. To me, he wasn't really about all that, but he had to live up to that just to sell records. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate that yeah, you that have happens. to do that these days. Yeah. And it was funny because uh, a lot of people say the bad things about him, but they never said the good things about him, of the donations he did and stuff right. like that. But, again, it's because the donation was his real side of him. Exactly. He had to portray the bad guy, and he got caught up in the bad guy moment, and just screws himself up. You know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and that's just like you know, with the hip hop movement. You know what I'm doing. You know now is just trying to let these rappers know you don't. I mean, to 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 to, to be an entertainer today, you don't you don't have to do the negative images out, out there, there for our for our kids for our you know young adults. You know you can. Talk about positive, po positive stuff. You know, yeah. we need more of that. Yeah, you know what I was, I was telling uh, one of my friends. We were talking about how the uh, the um, the songs people like it, and you'd be like, "Oh, you like that song? Yeah, yeah." And they don't really know nothing about it. It's right. just because their friends like it and they like it. So if you have that power to make everyone follow, because that's we're in the world of followers. So if you can make them follow, why can't you make a song, a positive song, and let them follow that? And exactly. stop saying, oh, we have problems in the world. Well, you're bringing more problems. Exactly. Why can't you make a rap song that's, you know, good to dance, but at the same time, it's bringing the positivity. Exactly. Where everyone's going to follow that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Put your pants up and start, you know, doing something. You're going to start seeing everybody doing their thing. But guaranteed, if, uh, like, let's say 69, he's, he's pretty famous, or... Or uh, Jay Z, or anybody that's real, real famous that people started following. If they were rapping in suits and ties, you don't think everybody would have followed with suits and ties? Yup, they would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's put them positive images out there. <laughs> that's why. That's why I was like. And then these people with the oh, with the cars in it. Um, first of all, all the watches they have, or the the jewelry they have, the car in the back, they all rent it for that video. Mm -hmm. That's it. They don't have that. You know, like if you go to their house, you'd be like, "Where's the car that you had?" You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. And that, and that's why a lot of people want to. Be out there in the music industry because they they look at the videos and it's just like you say they see the car they see the money and they think that's what it is and it's really not. Yeah, yeah. It, believe me, there's even in in our time there was people that did have that and they don't have it now. Yep. Uh, MC Hammer is one of them. Yeah. MC Hammer is like the perfect example of perfect example of making all this money. Mm hmm And then he tried to help everybody out, but then once. They wasn't being helped no more. They left. They and left. He, yeah. he left all the money. He didn't have no more money. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was so many examples like that where you make the money, but you don't make it right away. Mm -hmm. And then you got the one-hit wonders that made money real quick, and they think that's going to keep on going. And mm -hmm. now they back in Wendy's or something, you know. Yep. And, no and when we're speaking about hip-hop movement, I, 
I think about like the Zulu nations and stuff because my brother was one of them. Mm -hmm. He he rode with um, LL Cool J when they first started. Um, crazy legs and all these guys came to my house. You know, like right. I didn't know them because I was not into that. You know, mm -hmm. I was into baseball and stuff like that. I was still young, but uh, when I see these guys coming in and they had a dream, oh, we're gonna do these stuff. We're gonna make it big. I was like, yeah, okay. I just kept on walking. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, okay, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> you know. Right, but right, uh, right. they always used to tell me, follow what you believe. Right. And that's what we're gonna do. Like crazy legs. I I talked to crazy legs shout one out time. To, shout out to crazy. Yeah, and I, I I seen him again like two years ago in the parade, and I was telling him about the story, and he looked at me. He was like, Nah, not that little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The little one that used to be in the corner watching you and carrying the crates. Right. Um, <laughs> but they had a dream and a positive dream where they were going to go, Rum DMC. All of these guys had a positive, let me take out this type of message. Mm -hmm. And somewhere down the line, we lost it. Yeah. We lost the message. You know, I really think it's, it, it, we, we lost it with uh, the group from, um, from California. What is it? NAA? Oh, and... Uh, it was NWA, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. NWA was part of um, Ice, uh, Ice, Cube. Ice Cube and all the rest. Yeah. And I think that's when we really lost it, you know, when they was, you know, at the police. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. That. And that's people wanted to start emul emulating that. That. And uh, I believe that was the, the point where it was just lost from that point on. Yeah, because then it started getting more hatred. And mm -hmm. yeah, I can see that. I really didn't realize that until that you say that now mm -hmm. you know it's the sound of the police whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. you know so i don't want to sing too much and then they're going to charge us <laughs> but um <laughs> but uh yeah it is true because they had message but then they started off that um east coast west coast you know mm -hmm. arguments and all that stuff and maybe yeah that's probably where down the line it fell off but um positivity is one of the big things in the hip hop movement, and uh, mm -hmm. by looking at it and seeing it, and with MJ Hip Hop Connects, they trying to push, right? Push that um that you don't have to be that regular hip hop, mm -hmm. what they call hip hop, uh, which it varies because now you got the mumble rap, the mumble rappers. Right. Uh, off the dome rappers and the ones that think they off the dome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they off the phone mostly because mm -hmm. I've seen them rapping and then they they rapping and reading their lines. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, real hip hop, like you said, it's a movement. It's a it's a push. But what else do you want to bring from the movement? Um, you know, back in the '90s. Um, when you had groups like um, Public Enemy, right? Um, you had Queen Latifah. Oh my you, God! Shout out to her. You, yeah, you know that whole '90s click, and and back then, especially when I was hearing the messages that Public Enemy um, was saying, that's when I was like, "Wow, you know, hip hop really is a movement." You know, because back in the '70s, when hip hop first came out, you know, the hip hop movement was all about um, people wanted to beat down with this with with this new thing that they're jamming they're in the jamming. park you know what i'm saying and everyone wanted to come and everyone wanted to be a dj and everyone wanted to be an mc everyone wanted to be a part of this yeah you know yeah. Of, of this movement but then in the 90s when public enemy um came on the scene i was like wow you know hip-hop really is a movement so that's when i was um working for dick scott at the time and dick right. scott managed uh, the new kids on the block mm -hmm. Uh, Snap, Marky Mark, and the Funky Monster, and I was on mm. tour with Snap. And I wrote down um, six six things that that I believe what the hip-hop movement st stood for based upon these rappers that came out, like Harris one and all the rest of them. And I had wrote down um, the six elements of the hip-hop movement. Mm. And the six elements of the hip-hop movement is um, conscious awareness, mm. civil rights awareness, activism awareness, justice, political awareness, and community awareness in music. And that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to get across. To bring it back. You know, yeah. and if, you know, when you rapping about stuff like that, that is the hip-hop movement. I like that. I like that. Um, 
we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit uh, more about the hip-hop movement and also about how the negativity is more uh, gas on the fire. So we're going to be right back. Welcome back to the LDM show. And again, I'm with B. Stinger right here, <laughs> the, the owner of the hip hop movement. Um, and we were just talking about, you know, we, we hit the 80s and 90s. Now we're going to come a little more up uh, towards the mid, mid 90s where uh, hip hop started joining other brands like um, Run DMC started joining um, mm -hmm. Aerosmith. And mm -hmm. it was trying to creep out, like trying to get that. Positive, mm -hmm. but then here it comes with the negativity of uh, bands like N.W.A. and um, groups of uh, who, who was it? it? Was another group that kept. I hate to pushing. say it. I hate to say it. Onyx. Onyx <laughs> was one. Yeah. You know? But then you had guys like L.O. Cool J. that kept trying to to stop that right. negativity stuff right. and bring stuff up in. Mm -hmm. He made songs where. Yeah, it was talking about what was going on in the world, but he did it in a positive way. Right. Uh, you know, and when he was, especially with the Mama, I'm going to knock you out, was like he was trying to tell people, stop, right. I'm going to knock you out. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So there was, now, with the problems that are going on, I always say, look in the mirror and you'll find where the problem is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where the most problem is because a lot of people are blaming the man, which... I've been investigating and trying to find this man because I don't I don't know who the man is. I, I, I've been trying to look for this man too. You know, every time somebody don't get a job or something, they blame the it man. on the man. So I've been trying to find this man because I said to myself, and I said it on the last show, I could eliminate all the problems if I find a man and eliminate him. Exactly. But I can't find him. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys stop the negativity of oh the, this and shoot the police and shoot them and the anger would die down and they will start realizing wait the problem could be with us exactly because they're putting more fuel in this fire mm -hmm. um what will you tell upcoming rappers that are trying to like go with them instead of going with the hip-hop movement um I, I i i would hate to use this as an example but it's a good example um you have new rappers like what just happened the other day uh what is this the oh, oh, Almighty J, his name is that that, that rapper. He just got, uh, they just uh, uh, beat him up and took his his his, his, his chain and stuff. Oh, like I that. didn't hear about that one. Yeah, yeah. because of the the, the 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 lyrics that he portrays. It goes back to what I say. They portray this this, this gang, gangster, gangster type, image, yeah, and they can't live up to it in reality. So mm. my message is, if they just cut that nonsense out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you can talk about the good things in your in your neighborhood, and 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 you can talk about the the bad things in, in your neighborhood, but you can put it in a way like as if you're trying to stop what's going on in your neighborhood, like the drug dealing right, and right. and the this and the that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't have to encourage it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not when you do that, you're not you're not being a part of the solution. You're being part Funny. of the problem. And a mm -hmm. lot of them, they follow what the record companies tell them to do because the record companies th see that, oh, that, you know, negativity is it's out selling. there and, 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 and it sells. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if we start making it to where positivity sells and we can, you know, put messages out, out there to really stop the things that's going on because rap is very powerful. Yeah. You, music alone is like when you're a celebrity, it, powerful things whatever you do people try to you know do and it's not because maybe they don't even really like you but their friends like you so now they like you right you know what i'm saying so they they want to follow through they don't want to be left, left behind mm -hmm. and that's that's the problem that we're having now with the uh the teenagers and, and the you uh even even uh pretty much the adults they want to not be left behind right. and they want to uh because i was just talking to my wife the other day i was like if i see one more middle age um man trying to put his pants all the way down, and you wasn't like that when you were young. Stop exactly. trying to, because they don't want to feel left out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they don't want to be themselves. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, wow, it's even hitting the adults. Like, you don't want to be yourself. You're like, okay, I seen this one guy. He was wearing, uh, blew me away because he looked like it was a whole Adidas outfit, like back in the days. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and people were looking at him like he was weird. Right, I right, looked right, at right. him like, wow, he's remembering his youth. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's good. He's doing what he does. Right. But people were not doing that. They were like, oh, why well, he's wearing that? We don't wear that no more. <laughs> right, 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 right. You don't wear that, but he did. You right. know what I'm saying? So at least he was not a follower. Right. Uh, but uh, how would, like, how would someone try to stop that? Because it's kind of hard to, you know, maybe we need one of the big celebrities to, to, to make a song about, you know, positivity and stop this, you know, nonsense. Yeah, definitely, you know, and, and, and I, I really think what you said, you know what I'm saying? And, and, we, and, you know, we need to put the challenge up right now. You know, I'm challenging, you know, all these heavy hitter, you know, uh, 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 rappers to start making positive uh, records so that, you know, these up-and-coming ra rappers, rappers, you know what I'm saying, can emulate, you know, what you're doing since everybody likes to emulate what everyone else, else is doing. So let's start putting out these new images, you know, mm -hmm. um, these, these, these new uh, um, lyrics, new images, you know, in your videos and stuff like that. And, and that's the only way that it's really going to change. And that's so, so true. Um, and that goes back to community awareness, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, with, you know, one of the elements of the hip-hop uh, hip -hop movement. And uh, which is so true, like I said, and if you, if you ever, guys, if you ever find out who the man is, please let us know, because um, I'm still looking. Uh, community awareness is part of hip-hop uh, movement. And it's, the word community, it's in the word, you know. It takes the whole community to have this awareness. And they've seen the problem, but they only complain about the problem. They never find a solution. What will you do or how would you approach it to show them solutions to the, to the awareness? And I believe the only way they can do that is people really have to, you know, take part in your community so that you can, you know, begin to, to, to change. And right. your lyrics to change because, you know, Start, you know, valuing your community. You, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? And, and that right there is, is a start. Which is so, so true. You know, um, you guys, if you just logged on to watch, uh, because the engineer didn't put the thing up there on the TV, so I can't, I don't even know if y'all watching, or I don't know the comments. But anyway, um, keep comments coming. Uh, we'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Uh, and I like that we have the... Um, the legendary Beast Stinger right here. And he is from the hip-hop movement, the owner of the hip-hop movement, where we are speaking about positivity and awareness um, with the community and what hip-hop really means. So, um, but what is the major change you've seen from the crate holding days to now? What's, like, the major upsetting change that, that you see? I don't, I don't, as far as... But the music from the crates to what's going on Yeah, yeah, now. like from, I, I, I say I, from I the crates because I don't want to yeah, be looking old and be like, yeah, from yeah. the 80s to now. As far as like, you know, with the records and stuff like that, what, what I do see an improvement in which is great, ha now how you don't need um, vinyl. Right, right, You right. know what I'm saying? To, to mix and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's a great improvement. I, I love that. I like that, but. I, I love it. After I've seen someone still. DJing with the records, I was like, wow, you know? <laughs> and then we had a DJ who was like, well, I don't know how to do that. Right, 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 right. And I'm right, like, right, right. but ain't that the same concept? <laughs> right. But I noticed um, one DJ had the two scratch tables like this, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was like, a lot of the DJs don't. They just have the laptop and that. So I was right. like, that's not a DJ. That's a record player. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, that's just a person playing records. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I want to hear the, the scratching and the, and the, you know, rewind. Uh -huh. you know, I want to hear all this stuff, you know, <laughs> when I'm listening to music. Yeah, and, you know, the negative stuff that, that I see is like what we just was talking about, how they put these, the negative images, images out there yeah. and, 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 you know, the, 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 gun, the gun play and, and your music and stuff like that. Right, Those right. are the negative stuff. But as far as rapping changing, from the, the, the 70s to now, you know, a lot of, and I know my old school friends, you know, <laughs> they're going to get mad at me, but I'm just saying, the way they're rapping now, we were just discussing, we were just talking about the, mum, the mumble rap, yeah, huh. you know what I'm saying? 
And it, you know, us as people from the first and second generation, you know, with hip hop, you know, I I never thought that hip hop would 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 be where it's at today. But we all have to adapt to change. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if the bump, if these kids is doing this mumble rap now, that's you know, we need to be appreciative of that because that just shows the longevity of hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 20 years from now, it may be something else. True, you, you, true. You, you know what I'm saying? And it just shows the, it just shows, you know, hip hop just going more up. You, you, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, 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 that, that's a great thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From, from, from the, 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 the founding fathers who created hip hop. And there's one more thing I wanted to say. Everyone always talks about the three founding fathers. There's mm. actually four founding fathers. And it really gets me up when they try to when they try to take Disco King Mario out of hip hop. As if Disco King Mario did not exist. Mm. And they need to cut that out because you're telling a false story mm. if you're not mentioning Disco King Mario. You know, a lot of these DJs... Yeah, and you can't... Uh, I'm going to cut you off for a minute. You cannot mention Skate Key in the Bronx exactly. without mentioning Disco. Exactly. Exactly. Because you know, he was there I a lot to, in Skate Key. Exactly. <laughs> I used to go to Skate Key. Because yeah. I, I even forgot the name until you said that. I just went mm -hmm. way back real quick. I was like, whoa, wait. I heard mm -hmm. that name when I was in Skate Key, you know, and mm -hmm. I seen them DJing and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and, and if you go on, you know... The website, Hip Hop Movement's website, which is um, hiphopmovement.hiphop, -hop, yes, we do mention Disco King Mario. Mm, wow. And, and that tells you uh, a lot. Um, I wish we had more time. It looks like we're <laughs> running out of time here. But again, real quick, just, you know, you, you mentioned the website. Where else can they find it and how they can be part of it? Um, they can email me. You know, you can go to my other website, which is a Ronald Savage, my real name, which is ronaldsavage.com. You know, and all the information how to contact me is, is, is on there. You know what I'm saying? And I have a new single um, out right now, which mm. is called Keep Going. You know mm. what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's on all the online uh, 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 music stores right now. Yeah, and if you're going to check it out, uh, we are also going to be putting it on the LDM radio station. And uh, I think that's one of the songs MJ sent for um, voting. Is, is, did she? I think so. But if not, I'll get it from uh, B. Singer okay. himself. Uh, remember to go to LDMRadio.com and start voting for the uh, independent artists that are trying to get their music out there. Win or lose, at least you get to hear their uh, music, and that's what they really want, is everyone to hear their message and um, stuff. But uh, remember, positivity, awareness, and everything else that is very good for the world is part of the hip-hop movement. Hey, this is the LDM Show. I'm glad you came and, and you know, blessed our no little doubt. area with us today. But when we come back, we're going to come back with a female guest. And we're going to talk to her a little bit about her new tour and everything else that is going on. So, And it's been almost a year and a half to two years since she stepped on the LDM uh, seat. So we're going to find out what's going on. We'll be right back.